up till it bleeds Dragging these smelly truck nuts around Making hot brown rain in a kitchen sink Grab hold of my oyster now And give me that wink Ho! Ho! And put the rest on pop five halls. I didn't tell you to speak, bitch. Make eggs or I'm gonna stab you. Better learn your right, learn your good, learn your right, good. is innocent. I'm drinking beer, taking a dump and passing now. Peace. 
transition how you like them shits all right and then I guess stream that as well hydrate I mean I got a coke I, I just drank a coke I don't really feel the need to hydrate but thank you snot rag for telling me to hydrate that's fine how's it going everybody good to see you all Yes, Country Dump is bidding for what we're about to watch. I got them balls. I don't really... Here's the thing. Like, I have a playlist of all the AI songs that I've made on there, and I can't really hear what songs are being played. They're just kind of played on random. So I never really know until, like, something... Drink that Aqua Fria, big dog. I really should. I should drink, like... Uh, I demand liquid refreshment. Well, um, I mean... I don't know. Hold on. I'm very hydrated already, but uh, I'll, I'll drink this. All right, you'll get you'll get your points. Mmm, lukewarm. I'm telling you, I'm I'm very, <laughs> I'm very uh, refreshed and 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 quenched. I have a lot of liquid in me. Thank you for the he 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 all yes. And they're not are they not playing or do i not hold on one second i don't know why they're not playing i don't know why they're not playing they should be playing there you go.
takes it took a second apparently so and I guess this one will play right I don't know twitch is weird sometimes but it'll play it'll eventually play sorry it just like sometimes it, it for some reason when I started the stream up it and I first start streaming it like took a second for it to start so I don't know it must be there we go yeah, it just, for some reason, it's, like, delayed. But anyway, um, how's everyone doing? It's good to see you on a Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon. Okay, that, that was lame. But, but uh, hope everybody's doing all right. Yeah, I know we're living in a weird world. Uh, but, you know, for a few months at least, it's not, it's just business as usual. So... I'm not particularly thrilled about it, but it is what it is. It's the American people are stupid and dumb and dumb and stupid. But I already had this discussion last. We already had we already had a talk about this last stream and how like fucking ridiculous the world is. But um, I'm trying. I would desperately love to watch not watch the news, but I'm a political journalist, so I have no choice. Oh well, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I have been. Me and my family have deliberately, like, turned off the news. If it were up to me, I would just watch Guy Fieri nonstop. Oh, man. You know, Guy Fieri needs to join Smash Mouth. Like, why hasn't that happened yet? Like, he should just, like... The, the Smash Mouth guy died. I could... Who, who would be... Who else would be perfect to replace the Smash Mouth guy than fucking Guy Fieri? Come on, we can all... We, we can very easily see Guy Fieri on stage being like, Hey now, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I mean, come on, it'd be perfect. Like, I can't think of anybody who could bit Smash Mouth better than Guy Fieri. And he would, like, make them, like, relevant again by doing that. Like, I just... It's just a good career move for everyone involved. I don't know why we're talking about Smash Mouth. <laughs> Whatever. Um... So yeah, last time we played yesterday, we didn't get far. It was a very sleepy stream. I think it was just me, Matt. I mean, Mike is obviously here. Mike here? Not yet. Mike is busy doing Mike stuff. He's like ripping DVDs and stuff like that. He would never do that. Don't you ever say that he would do that. But regardless... Um, uh, it was kind of a sleepier stream than usual, but it was still it was still good. We made some progress, so I think we're about to go to Mexico today. So before I get started, oh yeah, 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 that's right. I almost forgot what I was gonna say. Shout out to uh, the three new followers that have followed this page now. <coughs> um, Dune Kankle, uh, AI AI Infection, and PVP Scrappy 6 Thank you guys so much for the follows. I'm not sure if they're here or not, but uh, they did, yeah. Um, we also managed to get Dune Kenkel in the Discord as well. So that's cool. If any of you haven't been on my Discord or feel obliged to, just to keep up with uh, stream announcements and stuff like that, uh, there is a Discord link that uh, Nightbot lets out every few minutes or so. So... There is that option, but I also understand that people do not like Discord and, like, can consider it, like, annoying and stupid. Totally understand that as well. I do uh, advertise my streams on Facebook and Instagram, so, you know, if you just want to keep doing that, that's cool, too. Um, what else has been going on? Uh, oh, yeah, me and Mike did a uh, benefit show last Sunday at Stargazer Lounge in Moorhead, Kentucky, and it was pretty cool. It was a pretty fun show. Um... Went over really well. Uh, played at noon, which was strange, but there's still a pretty decent crowd, and they, they dug it a lot, and I'm looking forward to doing more shows with Mike in the future. I'm not entirely sure what the future of that project consists of at the moment, but I'm sure there'll be something down the line. As far as the other bands go right now, um, I'm going to down to Somerset, Wednesday to resume yip practice because I've been out for a few weeks with mon either with money situation or with uh, uh, being sick 
or all kinds of stuff. It's just been like, and my dad had surgery as well. So, I mean, they've been kind of like a home buddy for a while. So it'll be nice to actually see those guys tomorrow. And then as far as uh, Poxy Grandma goes, I'm not really sure like what we're doing. We're supposed to get together Monday and work out our plans. This is the, this is the planning season for for musicians. Like they usually, this is around the time where gigs and everything wrap up, and then we all just kind of sit around going, well, "What the fuck are we gonna do?" So it is a lot of like, you know, planning for spring and and summer. But uh, I tell you what, though, something I'm excited about. Um. In December, in C.R. Gibbs, y'all need to come to Louisville. We will come to Louisville. Speaking of Louisville, C.R. Gibbs, December 1st or December 2nd, uh, Claudio Simonetti's Goblin is playing at Headliners Music Hall. He was the guy who, they were the band that soundtracked um, some Italian horror movies from the 70s. Uh, Suspiria, um, Phenomena, Dawn of the Dead. Um... Claudio Simonetti and like a bunch of hired guns. They're going to be playing at Headliners Music Hall, uh, I think, on December 2nd or something like that. And I am very interested in going to that show because I absolutely love Goblin. I think their soundtrack work is amazing. And so that would be really cool to go see. Um, I hope he does the Suspiria theme. That's like one of my all-time favorite pieces from them. They also did a soundtrack for a movie. That, I was talking about this with Mike earlier called The Heroin Busters. I might be in town then. Keep me posted. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Um, there's a movie they did uh, in the 70s soundtrack for called The Heroin Busters. It's a really Italian crime kind of movie. It's like, we got to take down the we got to take down these heroin dealers if it's the last thing we do. That kind of shit. But it's like, it's a really excellent soundtrack. There's a whole lot of, uh, you know, it's a good action movie from the 70s soundtrack when there's like a lot of wah guitar whenever like they're running into like a warehouse. It's like, watch, 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 watch. That kind of shit. Like, it, it's really excellent soundtrack. Very, very 70s. But I have a thing for like 70s soundtracks. I have a vinyl of uh, Isaac Hayes' Shaft soundtrack. It's one of the best soundtracks ever made. Um, I should get. I should look and see if there is a vinyl. I know there is a vinyl of this soundtrack, Red Dead Redemption. I'm just worried that it's like extremely expensive. I remember looking on Discogs a while ago, like a few years ago, and being interested in trying to get like a. a vinyl of this soundtrack and it was like two hundred dollars i'm like yeah no thank you but uh dardigan apparently has the soundtrack to doom eternal on vinyl which is awesome it's a fucking killer soundtrack but anyway oh yeah and also it was really weird i should have picked it up but i just didn't have the money for it i went to walmart one time to like get some ca like usb cables and shit and i just kind of glanced over the vinyl section they had the Quake soundtrack on vinyl, the Nine Inch Nails Quake soundtrack. And I should have been like, yoink! Because that is like one of my all-time favorite fucking soundtracks. Like, Trent Reznor, like, when he's actually, like, say what you will about Nine Inch Nails. But, like, Trent Reznor is, like, one of the best soundtrack guys. Like, I still think Girl the Dragon Tattoo is, like, one of the greatest fucking soundtracks ever. Anyway, I'm, I'm nerding out over here over music and stuff, but... That's what you're all here for, right? You should stream Quake just for the soundtrack. Um, I'm not sure if, if, if Twitch will be okay with that, because it might be DMCA'd. <clears throat> Which is the main reason why I have not streamed uh, Grand Theft Auto, because of all the copywritten music. And that's like half the reason that anybody fucking plays Grand Theft Auto, is because of the soundtrack. But whatever. Apparently, the, the, the definitive version of that game that came out, like, a few years ago, they had some trouble getting some of the songs. Like, the, the licenses, I guess, expired or some shit. So there's a lot of music from the game that just isn't there anymore. Hey, hold on one second here. Something's off. What is hell is this? What is that about? 
Why did it just default to having no V-Sync? Like, yeah, I could get more frames, but then, like, this whole screen tearing thing looks terrible. Ooh, people are yelling and screaming already. Really now? I'm a lone vigilante of the West. That's all right. He won't be troubling nobody else. How come they look so robotic when when she hugged me? Hanging tough. I'm rough. Color me bad said that in the 90s, and I still believe it. You know what's really funny is um, one of the songs that I looked up one of the songs um, from this game on uh, to listen to earlier today on YouTube, and one of the top comments that said, "Who else listening to this in 1912?" I thought that was pretty funny. Hey, anyway, let's do this Israel lesson. We're about to go to Mexico, guys. It's one of the best moments in the entire game. On shaky's Oops, ground. Sister. Put them Why are you threatening up? nuns, what dude? Are you doing? Seriously. The hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh good. Blimey. But I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name and your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Get down. That's a good good timing. How does this guy not remember who John Marston is? Shame to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? The Lord. I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. Man, the writers of this game so, really uh, love Unforgiven. These excuses. And Tombstone. Like, they love those two yeah. movies. And it just, it just reeks of now, the, those westerns. Irish, that Gallon gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. Chad, who do you think would play this guy in like a movie adaptation? I know where we can find the parts for you. Mother fucking Mary. Like, who do you think would be a good Irish? How about a drink or two, mister? You're barking up the wrong tree, lady. No, he ain't barking up my tree. What you looking at? What you looking at? Hey, Tom Waits. Can you get out of my way, please? Can I help? No, that's Tom Waits right there. I've been working on a cinder block sound for at least a couple decades now. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. And Marston always had a good bit quick back. You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. Sure you are. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. I mean, he ain't wrong. Where are we going, Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I tell you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Oh yeah, this isn't sketchy at all. By the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need. Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. No guns like the end. If things keep on this way. Why does everybody walk in this game like they gotta take a huge dump? Why that thing? All right, we're here. Stay close. I mean, they didn't have proper out. They didn't have proper bathrooms in the old west. Was it? Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Oh well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I think you're already impatient. Wow, 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 wow. 
starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. I can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drip. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Want some raw? Of course you do. Very appropriate sound clip. Thank you so much, Snot Rag. How are you doing, Snot Rag? Admit a minute. Good to see you again. My loyal Snot Rag. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. I'm okay. Good to hear you. Good to hear. I'm glad, glad you're here. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Right. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. Oh, uh, like a good Shaky. All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. For now. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Beautiful son language. Again. Oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly. Who are they doing to the Irishman? Whispers? Yeah, his name is Shaky. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll this guy's name is just Irish. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. <laughs> Marston is a lot like Gerald of Rivia, but he's kind of right, like, I'm, I'm sick of this shit. I'll go get the wagon ready. Climb the ladders. Oh, I can't just burst the door down and, like, shoot everybody? What I do best, I am a cold-blooded killer, after all. Lock slowly or crouch to avoid detection. Bring out the gimp. What, I can't get on that, that ladder? Oh, there we go. Any other man listening outside that door about a guy named Shaky might think there are other things are going on. I mean, you ain't wrong. A minor. Rescue Shaky. Hey, you hear that? You heard nothing. You saw nothing. You are nothing. You would have to use stealth. Coming in from behind. Coming in on your mud flat. In the name of the West, stealth is the game. You didn't hear or see nothing. What you got on, Getting close so I can use my knife. My knife! And I pulled out my gun. I said, if somebody better start talking and this, or I'm gonna pull out my red. Fuck it. This is gonna take forever if we do it like this. Alright, alright, alright. We can do this the hard way or the hard way. Hurry! You can get these ropes off me! Murder was a pretty good horse to the band song. Oh, Thank you for the band. I th 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 thought I, I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Oh, good. I rescued Porky Pig. All right. L -l 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 Let's get out of here while we got the chance. You clearly don't like me, Bubba. I was just about to say that, Come on, you bastard. Who's next? Hey, wait, 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 I don't mean to make fun of him, it's just, you know. No, no, you don't. He's trying my Go patience. You open the door. I'll cover you. 
Sorry, me making fun of a man's stutter is very Donald Trump of me, so. No, don't you stand there! Open this door! Come on, son, who's gonna make it me? Oh, he glitched out of existence. Uh, I, uh, I'm a dancing. Well, you're about to. You shoot like a girl. I'm smooth with a gun. Here's a war gameplay. See, this is why it was really important to uh, shoot those birds earlier. Because now I'm the sh I'm a fine rootin' tootin' sharpshooter. Shoots them, shoots them all. Done did. Yeah. Now we're even. Hop even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Shake. Ah, uh, yes, back when morphine Go came and del delicious Before pills. Dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, f -f 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 all right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. Fuck. All right, hop on. I'll get us out of here. You know, there's, there's not a lot of games that can do humor well, but every now and then Red Dead Redemption, Redemption uh, does it. Shit, shit, man, I'm even getting a stutter going here. There must be cobweb thrown on that whole dirty fuckers. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. But chat, we are about to get into what I consider one of the best moments in all of gaming. I'll point it out when it happens. It's a great, it's a, it's a, it's a really great moment. There's a kind of moment in the video game where I'm like, oh, this whole video game thing, it actually could be like a really excellent medium. somebody wants that ammunition real bad. And made me like appreciate video games as an art form drive, uh, more than ever. You're acting like a schoolgirl. I'm telling you, I like the, I like what I'm doing here. Gun, it better work after all this. Don't be worried. You won't find a finer piece of artillery in West Dublin. Get that feller out the way. Make sure that horse goes down too. I am good at this game, I'm not gonna lie. Anytime you want to shoot somebody, Iris, please feel free. You know, I may not be good at a lot of things, but I am pretty good at this game. Now I'm a team man, you. We should consider making this a more permanent partnership. I nah. Use the skills of the wolf. Well, I think you're ready for part, Mercer. You've got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm going to need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're going to be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. No, I certainly wouldn't, Irish. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. 
Yeah, big moment, big moment in the story coming soon. 150 fame. Hey, they, they got me right back here too. Excellent. But I wanna, I wanna save. I also want to like make sure I got everything ready. Is there? Revolver ammo. Good. I don't know if there's anything else in here. Oh, excuse me. Shotgun ammo, too. Yeah, as you get more guns, you get more ammo in your containers. So. I will say this, guys. Uh, I'm probably not going to stream Undead Nightmare, sadly. Because, uh... Nah, there's other games I want to play. I might come back to Undead Nightmare. Uh, and and maybe like months later or something like that. But not, not immediately after playing this game. Because he don't gotta. Exactly. He don't gotta. Let's buy some medicine. Let me sell this shit. There's really no reason to have it. A good deal for each Nine dollars. Go, sell, sell, sell. Horse meat is nutritious and affordable. It's a fine meat to can. Oh, wait, 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 I didn't, I, I, shit. Come back anytime. Hold on, let me sell, let me sell this shit. There we go. $234? I might as well buy a town. Alright, so let's go in here. I'm not sure what I can buy in here. But... Hey, partner. Survivalist moves. Good, honest product. Snake oil. I don't really need that. Spread the word. It's a shotgun ammo too. A Peter ammo. Nice doing business with you. I don't know how you get away with these prices, Mister. Now, those are pretty good prices. What five dollars for fucking bullets? Come on. Are you sure? Best prices in the game. Anyway, so where are we going? Flowers for I don't feel like doing that. We're going to Revo Rio Bravo. Thank you for the golf procedure. Now, fast travel or just take a drive? I think we'll take a drive. We got four. We got four, of course. Ride the rain. See whatever. Let's we'll see if there's any side question we can do on the way, or, or some sort of events. Cause why not? Why not? I honestly cannot believe that I'm playing this on PC. It's like fucking 14 years of the making right here. I was, you know, 23 when this game came out. I'm 38 now. Yeah, originally this was just a uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 game. It only took like 14 fucking years to like port it to Steam. And is it odd Jason Muse gets to on stream Twitch to stream Fortnite all the time now? Is Jason Muse? He's he's Silent J or he's J, right? Um, no, I don't really think it's that odd. There are celebrities that stream all the time, man. Andy Milanakis streams, uh, fucking, like, slot games on here. So. T-Pain streams fucking Call of Duty. And, um... I think, what what the fuck was it, uh, his name? Uh, Post Malone? He, he streamed 
Apex Legends. And he's really good at Apex Legends. You drinking blue raspberry? No, this is uh this is Roxa Cola. It's like a limited drink. The L8 made. It's basically just Coke. Yeah, it's a rock set. <coughs> I need to stop drinking it. I'm getting fat drinking it. You know, the landscape and the graphics of this game are still, like, pretty fucking good. Baja Blast Mango is coming, if anyone cares. I'm not much of a Baja Blast guy, but... I mean, that's cool. Zero Sugar Cherry Pepsi? That's weird. I don't drink this weird... I mean, I do drink the Roxa stuff, but I, I don't really drink, like... Cherry Pepsi and, like, weird shit like that. Um, that's for people like Badlands Chugs. What a what a what a what a YouTuber! Big fat guy chugging drinks. It's like a competitive eater and like competitive chugger apparently. To be honest, I love cherry Pepsi. Just, I do like cherry Pepsi. It's just not really something like. Who stole your wagon? Turn the stolen wagon to the owner. I usually just drink water and coffee, but I got soft spot for Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper's all right. I've, I've actually grown to not enjoy Dr. Pepper as much. Back when Cherry Pepsi was black and purple swirls. Yeah, it was, Cherry Pepsi's weird. There you go. You saved my farm. May the Lord bless you. The Lord does bless you. I also man. quite enjoy Mr. Pib, but nobody makes the OG Pib anymore. Every now and then I see Do Mr. Pib. That motherfucker didn't even get a degree. How did he? How did he? How did he survive in the soda game? They only made Pib Extra and it's swill compared to it. Yeah, that's all I see anymore is Pib Extra, which is hilarious. It's like the scene in Breaking Bad where it's like, we had a good thing going, you fucking blew it, you and your pride and your. Good stuff. Mercer Station. You know, it wouldn't be a Western without some guy whistling. You and your thoughts and your thinkings. Mike in, in Breaking Bad was always my favorite character. Just this old ass dude who's in the meth business who's just so fucking sick of it all at that point. He had a very, like, George Carlin kind of vibe to him, where he's just like, uh, fuck everybody. But yeah, he was my favorite character in Breaking Bad. In the Breaking Bad universe, or whatever. I still haven't watched Better Call Saul, and I need to do that. A lot of people tell me that Better Call Saul is better than uh, Breaking Bad, and I'm like, are you sure about that? I couldn't think of, like, a better game that, like, or a better show to, like... Let's go. Oh, man, it goes hard. That's what I hear. I mean, Breaking Bad was just a perfect show, just how it, like, approached the story and how it ended, and, like... It was just, like... It was just, like, excellent. Every episode had a purpose. Imagine all the same range for Breaking Bad, but even more experience. Like, yeah. I mean... I should watch it because it's just like it's a prequel to it all and it also has Michael McKeon who is like one of my favorite actors. I started it when I first came out because I was a broke son of a bitch when it came out and I had to search forever a pirate sire so I it just so I could just be watching it. Oh, those are good memories, aren't they? Anyway, important mission time. The assault in Port Mercer.
Ah, yes, the theme song. John? Michael McCain is one of the best performances I've ever seen in the last few episodes of season three. Gentlemen. Yeah, he's great. <clears throat> It's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. How the hell did he get himself inside? Keep it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. <coughs> how that? How that? How that worked out? And watch him bleed get, to death. Is the game going to explain that? He will you ever watch a movie called Wacko? I've heard of it. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law. When the shooting starts, take that as your I cue. Don't really know what it's about, though. Huh? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Yes, oh, five guys oh, against oh, an entire fort. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. He is. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Boy, this scene actually, like, hits harder when you play the second game. That should be something I do. I should stream Red Dead Redemption 2 at some point. I started streaming it, and then Discuss something happened. Yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our... It also is, like, 80 goddamn hours long, though. So it's like, uh, I don't know. That's such an undertaking. Like, the, just, just the main story alone is, like, 60 Let's hours go. long. But Joe Don Baker is hilarious in it. In Wacko? I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're I mean, Joe Don Baker is ridiculous in everything he does. Sense of security with some beguiling sales pattern. I will <laughs> give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a one, one of me and Mike's favorite mystery science theater episodes is uh, Final Justice, where he plays a fat Southern sheriff. And this is a hard drinking, hard living, hard breathing sheriff. And, uh, yeah, it's a ridiculous episode. I, I quote it all the time. You think you can take me? Go ahead, it all. It's your move. And, uh, what's the other, Mike, what's the other, uh, Mystery Science Theater episode with Joe Don Baker in it? Mitchell, that's it, yeah. I feel like that's every Joe Don Baker. It really is. The hard the living, way. hard breathing Why sheriff. The Phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. A moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. Can you shut the fuck this up? This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I just wanted to say that he's freaking out that the murderer's right back and losing the rest of the Isn't that Cape Fear? That kind of sounds like Cape Fear, and he was in that too. Well, they're just gonna let him in? Hey there! <laughs> come on in! Come on in! Welcome to my humble abode! <laughs> come on! Here's the, here's the ghoul from Fallout again. Greetings, my good men! Oh yeah, another thing. I need. I'm sorry. I, I need to. Not the Cape Fear of De Niro. No, he. It's the Cape Fear of De Niro. He's in it. They have a scene together. Uh, I also need to mention this, and um, we have a 300 follower goal. Um, when we get to 300 followers, there is a sample that I use on on Discord. It's also like a new sound alert. I think it might be a sound alert, but let me uh, let me alt tab real quick. Uh, and play it for you guys. Oh yeah, horse the man. Okay, so here's the sound we we have in our soundboard. Mike's been driving me crazy with it. It's uh this sound. Now, it's a completely insane sample. Uh, if I get to 300 follows, I will stream the game that that is from, called Killing Time Resurrected. But that's if we make. I don't particularly want to stream that game, but if we make it to a 300 follower goal, I will stream that game, and you'll finally see where that sample is from. So that is the goal. With 300 follows, will come the 300 follow stream of Killing Time Resurrected. So, just putting the word out there. 
What would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? Well, I mean, we have the technology for that. Once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom. the word or the sound out there? Ah, I see. In this wagon, some of the finest goods. Where's Bill and Williams in that? He ain't falling for the shit. Available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth. Elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. Of course it, it can. loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can they now? What the hell? Oh yeah, great in favor. What I'm waiting for is to kill the man. This was a mistake. No, it wasn't. Oh, oh. This is my Red Dead Redemption right here, right now. Hold on, I'm getting shot. Shouldn't there be like more exciting music right here instead of somber music? Well, we are taking out like a former friend of ours, so it is kind of somber. Is this legal? Round up the usual suspects. Someone might as well have this. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Where's William? <laughs> I'm just gonna take everyone's gold. This better not be a thing of like, I'm sorry, but the uh Bill Williamson is in another castle. Movie Wacko also has Andrew Dice Clay. Oh boy. His his comedy is aged like fine wine, right? A deputy is what? Why does that matter? People are gonna die. All right, boys, let's finish this. Yeah, whatever. All right, we'll follow him. Oh, I see. I think my work here is done. God's whatever. That's More one than fine. Uh, time to mellow these turkeys out. Come on, come on now, boy. Want some rye? I want some damn rye. Of course you do. I always want rye. I'm a rye guy. Oh, hell yeah. I always wanted to recreate the scene from the Wild Bunch where Ernest Borgnine shooting everybody. I feel like the audio is super delayed. It probably is. I don't know why the audio alerts are super delayed. They just are today. That fool must be hiding. 
Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering. You got sense of urgency here, please? What? I thought you left, dude. It's the snake oil guy. Well, get the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him. <laughs> yeah, it's very delayed. He's extremely delayed. Riding this way. Oh my good lord above. There must be a hundred of them. We'll be fine. Hold on one second here. Can I, can I pause this? I can't pause this. Okay, now I can pause this. One second here. Just miss. Alright, cool. Wait, how do we get the, 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 how did we get the Gatling gun over here? Did we just move it over here? Like, seems like that would have taken a while. Oh wait, is this just a Gatling gun that this fort has? There we go. Poor horse. Yeah, I mean, horses are going to die out here. I see where he comes from. Boom! Hey, that that Wilhelm scream. They're new. It, 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 not going to be a not going to be a western until that happens. A proud Hollywood tradition. I think we did it, boys. Just mow down a horse. Yeah, man. We looked everywhere. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on, I missed it. Mr. Marston, we got a live <coughs> one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. Oh, of course he did. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. Of course he has. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? You're about to die, dude. That's just you tell him. They're too gross. I think he said. Mexico. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Well, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. Of course you do. Ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. Yeah, so it would seem. too violent to show back there. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with the love of social justice. Sure. May you always be in your Oh, no, that's not delayed this it's time. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal? All right, boys. That's enough. I want to kick the scoundrel. Well... That was uh, Fort Mercer. It was a good moment, but that's not the moment I'm thinking of. Hey, it all ends where it begins. Cool. Alright, yeah, that was an accomplishment. Complete the assault on Fort Mercer. Land of Opportunity Achievement unlocked. So. We need to uh, resupply some medicine because, if I remember correctly, the next mission is a little difficult. I had some trouble with it back in the day, but there's nothing too crazy. We got here? In the meantime, we'll loot all these bodies because it's free money! Why not? And uh, there's a body over here. But no, I've not seen Wacko. I've, I've, I've not. I'm not really. I don't really know anything about it. Yeah, let's get this animal.
Why not? We'll get some money from it. This is dirty. There we go. Somehow we got money for that. <laughs> and might as, well. might as well do that too. Mmm, horse hide. The best kind. Okay, so, I don't know, four medicine. That's good, right? I could buy more if I want. I could buy another one if I wanted to, but I kind of don't want to. Okay, what's the next, where's the next mission at? All the way over there. Okay. Um... this vacant property oh okay could buy a house up there but I mean there's really no reason you can really just save anywhere really the only the only the only reason to like buy a property is to like get like free ammunition and you can pretty much get that from like killing people in this game yeah. anyway let's uh let's save you cannot set up in camp, town, in a settlement, or gang hideout. Aren't I kind of like away from that? Ow! <laughs> but first, I must commit suicide. All right, there we go. Yeah, we got an improved campsite, so it means that all our ammunition gets uh, restocked. So yeah, we'll save here. So we need to look at our map. So we need to go to McFarland's Ranch. Okay, travel to McFarland's Ranch. And off we go. I think I'll stock up on some medicine while I'm here, too. Just, I want to have that maxed out. And I do kind of want to, like, get as much ammunition as possible, too. For this next part. Because I believe it's another shootout, though. I mean, all the, all the, all the games are shootout. Yeah, we'll sell all this crap, too. Might as well. There's a change of season yeah. in the air. I'll be back with more next time I pass through. Sure I will. I hope to see you again. Um, and then, yeah, let's just go ahead and get like ammunition. Let me know if you need any help. Why hello? All genuine stuff here. Revolver. Can I buy another weapon? Any chance? No, not really. Hennigan Steed, Survivalist Map. What's Hennigan Steed? Play Dull Town, Settlement, Landmark, and Hideout in Hennigan Steeds. Yeah, alright, we'll do that. And Survivalist Map as well. Why not? Kills the Dead Eye Meter? Yeah, alright. Alright. I'm just buying as much fucking ammo as I can. Hey Blackwater, there are wagons that fly like nice right. doing business with Good. you. Yeah, there Not we go. Hey. Okay, so just to play it safe. Bro, people be all up in my shiznit today. What? What do you mean by that? All up in your grill? Are you working or something? People, people being people being annoying. Sorry that your 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 day is annoying. <coughs> um. All right. So we are going to let's we're going to go to. Uh, I could do like a foreman's office thing, but I don't really want to. I got asked to do something, and now I'm being asked to undo it. Oh, that's always fun. 
Sounds like people are, uh, hey, the old keister. Yeah, it sounds like people are, uh, not sure what the hell they're doing or talking about today. So I'm sorry you're dealing with that. But I hope your day gets better. We're gonna go to Irish. But now we're finally gonna go into Mexico. Can I jump over this? Hell yeah, I can. Oh, 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 wait, 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 yeah. I don't really... Probably not a good idea to go down that way. Is there a way to go around? Okay, yeah. There's a safer way of doing this. Yeah, I don't complain much anymore. Uh, all the soft white underbellies vids make him feel like I have it pretty good. Wildest channel on YouTube. What is the wildest channel on YouTube? Mine? Soft white underbelly vids. Let's go. Soft white underbelly? I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm familiar with that. There's a lot of weird YouTube culture I don't understand. Just because I'm old and don't keep up with the kids. Ah, uh, yes. Mexico. Dude, interviews people live the lives of 10,000 people. I'll check that out. That was interesting. It's like a, it's like a people of New York kind of thing. Yeah, just send me a link or something like that on Facebook and I'll check it out. Anyway, sorry about the ad. Just kind of something you have to do. Twitch needs to make money, so they, they throw an ad. We shall be together in paradise. That's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mr. Marston. Back then, it wasn't. One well. was a dude who's been on, in and out of jail since his teen, covered in tasks and neo Nazis. Sounds like a winner. Is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second oh. home. I've got more Excuse friends me. than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. Dubby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the One same. One was a Irish. deeply Relax. inbred West Virginia we'll family. Right? We'll so the white family. Williamson, no Another was a dude in a duck relationship. I hope so. You know, oh, cuck relationship. <laughs> duck relationship. You know, you're drunk, you're horny, you fuck some ducks. Oh. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. A relationship with exactly the ducks. Cows, but, you know, a little never much. Done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. I have to go now. The Where series demands that I leave the plot. Or, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science. Let me get this straight. He was like, try not to get yourself killed. Yet you threatened to kill him since we started hanging. <laughs> Since this game started, this land of myth and superstition, I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> All right. We are going down to Mexico. Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Port Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with me. I mean... At least you got your priorities straight. 
You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. There's something kind of compelling about him. I don't know why. Oh, hey, what the fuck? Oh, great. You got a bounty. Excellent. Kill these motherfuckers, man! I mean, this game isn't that far from San Andreas. They might as well be like, Hey, CJ! Whack these motherfuckers! Grove <laughs> Street, motherfucker! Huh. John Marston rides again. To Mexico, Johnny boy. Why are you just now party. telling me you have a bounty in Mexico, you fucking drunk dumbass? Shit. Hold on. Bring, bring a little closer. Yeah. In your face! Oh no! Damn, I'm a good shot. There's the idiot. Oh, where you at? Where you at? I smell you. Aha! Got you before you even run. Ole! 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 You know who I am! What the hell did you do to these fellas? I recall it was something to do with you. Of course. You must be taking up another Irish fella. It's you or me, friend. Oh, come on, come on, don't. Oh, shit, I'm about to die. Fucking down, you idiot! Shit, I'm gonna die again. Where you at? Come on, pop your head out. Pop your head out. You ain't getting another penny out of me! This is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do! At least, the lassies do. Oh, them big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. Hey, the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that pokey? <laughs> oh, yeah, they do. There's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're gonna have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williamson. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild <coughs> devil's... Are we just, are we just sitting here? What are we doing? The trying to kill you. Down here, they call me El Rato. The cat. On account of himself is funny. And again, are kind of you being a rat? Means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? No, I can't say we were. Damn more the sons of bitches! Buy that rock! Of course. Come on now! Stop that! Smooth shooting. I haven't stepped foot in this country, and they're already trying to kill me. Yeah, seriously, come on, man. Right here. 
talk that shit, John. Shooting, bald shaking, or whatever he said. Hello, infection. Balder dash is what I said last time. But yeah, good to see you, man. How's it going? Oh, you're gonna. Oh, you think you can do that, huh? I don't think so. What's the word for foot, Spider? El culto. Balder dashing. Yes, balder dashing. But also, hello. Bowder Dash! Look left, on top of the cage. Ah! Ah ha ha! Time to root and toot again! Hey! I simply can't have fuck all your daughter! Time to be my John Wayneist! What's up, man? Hope you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. I'm playing this game. So, I think things are things are alright. But don't you even think about trying to do that. Alright. We'll do that. Get a little closer. I smell you! Get you. Aha! Raining Mexican payback. Yeah, I think we got. I think we got them all. I'll miss these escapades, Johnny boy. I really will. I won't. I don't particularly like getting shot at, but that's just me. I don't remember any of it, Irish. I don't get all that cool loot and shit. Ah oh, well. These horses look fresher. <laughs> Whoop! And healthy. Hey, now game, why you gotta do that? Tell me where I'm headed. Why you gotta do that game? Let me think. You do know people down here. Your shirt has me dying. My execution might be tell that's a Freddie Gibbs shirt. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last it was, night. Uh, I, I bought it around the time of the George Floyd I, I, murder. I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> or was that Canada? I mean, yeah, for me, it's kind well, of funny. That was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, uh, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based on Escalera. Uh, played Sometimes I forget what shirt I'm wearing, to be perfectly honest, and then just like, was you know. Card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice I chap. just wake up and it's like, oh yeah, I am wearing Bastard. that, aren't I? <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. Of course he does. Uh, <sighs> The famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry, black, ugly man, but not a bad one. Well, you're you're uglier, so you know. <laughs> two two ugly men wishing wishing themselves good luck in the future. So, all right. Let's go. We're in Mex Mexico. Oh, yes. Here's the moment, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose Gonzalez. I ain't gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let this play.
Don't you ruin this, Gibbs. I hate you so much right now. I literally hate you all so much. Great music moment. How can I shit all over it? But uh, yeah, this song um, has a very interesting guitar tuning. So he tuned the sixth string down to B, and I believe he tuned the G string up to A. And all he's really doing is playing like a B minor uh, pattern. Very simple song to play, but very fun. I've been a Jose Gonzalez fan for a while, and so when this happened and I heard this song, I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. Because I, I've been listening to him up for like, probably like five years at that point. I love Jose Gonzalez. I think he's one of the best songwriters of all time. But of course, C.R. Gibbs had to do it. Suddenly we're playing Death Stranding here. This music moment. Yeah, I wonder where Hideo Kojima got the inspiration to, to have uh, songs in his games like this. Hmm. But this was a scene uh, when I originally played this where it made me stop and go, oh my god, you know, like video games can have powerful, it can stir powerful emotions like a movie or a TV show. Like, it seems kind of like not that important now, but like, it was just like, I felt like, oh shit, like storytelling in video games is getting really fucking good now. Like, this is something you would see in like Sons of Anarchy or something like that, you know? Not like a big video game, but it's like, you know, and then, of course, games like The Last of Us really kind of, like, push the envelope as far as um, storytelling goes. There's some more great musical moments coming up later on in this game that uh, I really like. Um, another great singer-songwriter, his name is Jamie Liddell. He has a song later on. And then uh, William Elliot Whitmore as well as another kind of Leonard Cohen-esque singer-songwriter with a low voice. Does a great version of uh, Oh Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie. So we have a few options here, but yes, this is this is Mexico. So if you feel inclined to look up that song, the song was called Far Away from Jose Gonzalez. I don't think it's on a record. It's on the Red Dead Redemption soundtrack, though. Um, so, at least it's on that. But yeah, I love uh, Jose Gonzalez's guitar playing as well. It's all, you know, nylon, classical, acoustic kind of stuff, which, you know, I was trained classically, so I can kind of get behind that. He does a great cover of uh, Massive Attack's Teardrop which is an amazing uh, cover. And he uses like a dad gad kind of guitar tuning for that one. Uh, and another song he has called Cycling Trivialities, which is a, an incredible song. Uh, he only has like a few records. Um, Veneer is uh, a really great one. That album actually turned uh, 20 years old not too long ago.
What's going on? Okay. We are in Mexico, so. So anyway, let's take a look at our map. We have two options here. We can go to Landon Ricketts or De Santa. I do like Landon, so. It's not a terribly huge map in the grand scheme of things. You know, the map of the western border states. I guess we'll go to Landon Ricketts because it's like there's a, there's a, there's a, we could save at least. What's with the sexy saxophone music? I do like the blast of Spanish horns that play as you're in Mexico now. The... Well, yes. Mexico! Bardido! If anybody actually... Anybody fluent in Spanish in, in the chat? Maybe they can fill the gaps for some of the dialogue in this game. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Now I know for a fact that any beautiful musical moment will be immediately destroyed with Jim Dandy screaming in my ear. I'm just like, you know... I was lost in a dream, snakey! <laughs> I don't want to put my gun away. I'm sure the locals don't appreciate it. I thought that guy didn't have an arm for a second. Bone gunslinger went riding into Mexico one day. No, sir. Pardon, pero... He does know some Spanish. English? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Hablo little piece of shit. Comprende, amigo? Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. Oh, reverse racism. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean, you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. You know, I would not be surprised if Danny Trejo is in this game. could you do to us exactly? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. He was in Vice City. He did no, play like a Mexican gang lord. Real stretch for Danny. But I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on... Such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, holy gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. A family. I too have a family friend. That's kind of why I'm here. So we may see our families again. I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> okay, you took off my hat. Like, it's time to die. Can I see the boots, gringo? You pry them off my cold, dead see hand. Where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. Pick up the gun. As you wish. <laughs> Badass. Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. <laughs> An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. I mean, they started it. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Leave and cleave, ladies and gentlemen. 
You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? <laughs> no wonder you left America. I'm many things. Social Most commentary! But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way... Is this guy Dicky Betts? Like, who is this? I gotta get back to being in the Almond Brothers band. As long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. I mean, he is like 70 years old or however old he is. What's your name? That doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> <coughs> a real American. A real American. Wonderful. Just wonderful. You killed my brother, that's it. Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Wax on and wax hey, off. Old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. He was? Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. The game is just jerking off its big hard on for Clint quietly. Eastwood right now. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. Oh, yeah. It could be. This whole place is teeming with, a, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Man, back then, it was revolution. totally fashionable to have a mustache that covered your mouth. Never really is. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another Got a nice Sam right Elliott mustache. Peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Hmm. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Who isn't in this world? Is that so? Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. Come on, let's go kill him. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. Maísimo! Hispanos como una niña! All right, let's go again. Concentrate on all three bottles at the same time. Oh, well. Oh, okay, okay. Dude, you're not even attempting to, like, get the drink close to your mouth. Well, I mean, I've been doing it differently this whole game, and now we're just going to throw a new mechanic at me? A little difficult. The birds around here are always raising hell. Scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm going to scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. You've been taught well. Why is it different now? You heard of I, I, but I've been tagging with, like, just the uh, fucking, uh, just the camera, and now it's like you have to press RB to tag him. Are you coming? I'd like to pretend I'm a busy man. I mean, I, I'm walking. Hola! What do you got to do, you know? Slowly walking. Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! 
Senor Ricketts, por favor, Senor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. They do. All right, whatever you say, man. Come on. Oh yeah, I should probably like get rid of that. There we go. This is confusing. Landon, you're very behind me. So no talking or anything, no important philosophical discussion. There they are, follow me. Banditos have a hostage. Of course they do. So much cover. Wait, I, oh, I killed him. <laughs> Whoops. Surely I am for the people. Oh well, you can't, they can't all be zingers. Why is it taking so long to load? Yeah. Let's haul out. Time really? To put you to work on some bigger yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Ricketts. Come on, Don Rickles. Are you all right? Just a bit of pain in the knee. Damned horse. The oh, now they got dialogue. One day you catch a glimpse of yourself, you ain't the same person no more. Your looks have gone, your back hurts, and your pecker isn't working like a Oh, I know about my See, pecker not working. Ages, just when you start to understand life, you're too long in the tooth to enjoy it. Look over there. They're in trouble, all right? Come on. Okay, come on, game. Oh, no, there we go. That worked. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. I'm a coming. Yeah, just a minute. Nobody said I had. You talk real big for a boy who couldn't shoot straight a half hour ago. And you talk big for an old man who can't stand up straight. You talk before. big for an old man whose pecker hasn't worked since 1895. Hey. Oh, really? You gotta kill the horse again? Good work, boys. Now let's get this wagon back to the So much for this quiet life of yours, Mr. Ricketts. I didn't say I'd become a coward. I'm not gonna stand by and watch good people suffer. They've been beaten down for too long. I give them some hope. They don't know how lucky they are. Yeah, I mean, really? We got two, two, fine, lawmen of the old west. Ah, Bunkle. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about it. I do like Landon a lot. I wish that, like, he wasn't really in Red Dead Redemption 2, and it, it, that made no sense because, it's like, that's a prequel. It'd be really interesting to see Landon, like, backstory or something like that. And they, they never really, he's only in this game. Kind of sucks. Wait, can I? Well, I mean, I can save anywhere, really. Um, I mean, we can do another mission, but let me save first. Easy. Right. Yeah, we'll save here. Food campsite. All right, 
save. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta use the bathroom, so uh, enjoy enjoy looking at this campsite. Maybe maybe Mike will get on and blur some uh, good samples. I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. I hope all, all y'all are doing okay and that the stream is nice and screamy. So, uh, hope everybody's enjoying this one. I have a few new people to chat. And so far, it's going a lot better than last night. I mean, although, last night was not bad. Granted, no stream is ever truly bad. It's just that some are sleepier than others. Let's go! I agree. Alright, we're gonna do another mission with Landon now. Can we, oh, we can we can actually like rent the place out or buy it maybe. I'm not sure if we can buy it, but like maybe we can Why? Am I following you why am I following you? Are you going to try to shoot me? They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good money. Okay. All right. You best be ready to pay up. Steal, steal the wagon. Is this a good idea? I don't think it's a good idea. Like I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, a new guy here. I don't really like want to Piss off the locals, but whatever. Oh, good. I mean, ten dollars was a lot of money back then. Oh boy! Revolution! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The black cloud of doom is behind me. There we go. How do, how do you reverse? Oh good, one of the horses left. Excellent. Yeah, one of the horses like buck this I'm out. Come on, come on, one horse. Take this thing all the way to New Orleans. I admire this one horse for dragging this entire wagon. Strong boy. Come on. Come on. The sheriff's on my trail. There we go. Here's the wagon you wanted. Muy bien. You do well, amigo. Toma, here is your money. Oh, well, I'm, I'm still got high honor, so whatever. 
highly illegal. Of course, you know, ten dollars is a lot of money around here. That uh, horse, can you stop, please? Yeah. Thank you. I'll just go back to where I stole the wagon. Obviously, there won't be any consequences. It's Mexico. Ole. Out of the way, please. Yeah, where do I, where do I, hold on. Let's, let's zoom in here. Can I pay? Pay bounty. Out of the dang way. Wait, where is it? I'm, I'm so clueless. It's, it's like right in front of me. We'll just go in and, and pay our way out of this. Yeah, there we go. Now perhaps I can walk the streets without being annoyed by the law. The law. You have money, but no shame. Good, good. Well, let's, let's keep the shame to a minimum. <laughs> can, I, can I buy... Uh... Hey! Spanish putas! Ah, do you have your mango chichis? I want to see le, e, el flapo. Pero mira donde andas, por favor. Oh, diablos. Purchase. Uh, I do not have $200. Not enough cash, stranger. Maybe I can sell some shit. Probably not, though. That's fine. I can fucking save anywhere. Ah, uh, more putos. Eh, por la vida, hermano. I'm gonna have me a drink. Yeah, give me some of your finest tequila. Tequila, please. Excellent. Yeah, I got demons I want to forget. Got brain cells I want to forget this evening. Woo! Mamma mia. Alright. I agree. Landon Ricketts rides again. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm the devil good. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here, because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. You ever heard of the Mighty Ducks movie? Javier Senor Escuela is Javier to see? No se, senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio. Sabacone, uh, Grime the Americano? Yo no sé. No, no, no. No. Again, I got that. Yeah, thanks. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Those damn clothes. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm <coughs> than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. Whoa. I'm a fighter, sir. And I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. Talk shit, get bit. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. Makes no odds to me. Yeah, he didn't like that comment, did he? Um... I want to take the train. Fuck you.
Yeah, fuck it. We'll go with him. That'll probably be cheaper in the end. Yeah, what, what? What have you been hearing, punk-ass bitch? Huh? Probably supposed to be dialogue here, but I, I, I probably glitched it out. Take a seat. Sure. Grody ass windows. I mean, it was the 1900s. Tell me to travel, so they keep telling me we'll get off at Casa Madrigada and ride from there. Hmm. Rain or rain. Well, it's. Good. Why so serious, game? El bigote, amalito, cigarro. I don't like the way that pixel was looking at me. Alright. Sure. Where are we going, huh? Got a cool bass line again. Oh, there. Alright, let's head to El Matadero and see what they know about Luisa. What do they know? We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw... It's like the first character in the game is not a slimy piece of shit. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl, anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Uh, we don't need to be feeding ball bastards balls yet. Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? A little bit. Easy now. Easy. All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. Probably dead or fucking somebody. Or both. Mmm, meat. Ow. Ow. Oh. Carlos, see, we're here for Luisa. She's still being held up in the caves. Yes, she's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Gringo. Let's do it. Symbolism. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. All right, let's find Luisa. Let me go accompany Don Rickles real quick. Tension. You got a generator? Sounds like it. One of those early generators. Wait a second. She's she's in a cave just conveniently behind your house and you haven't rescued her yet? The hell's wrong with you? Military prohibited. 
Clean kill. I say we've waited long enough. I say so too. For the love of God, the entrance is down this way. <laughs> For the love of God. What? I say we waited long enough too. What you got on, you, friend? Hot face. Take it, Mark. Well, then get out of my way. What the hell? What the hell? There. This ain't good, friend. Me. Hold on, I gotta loot the body. Just give it up. What are you doing back there? I'm helping you out. Just hold still while I shoot you, please. It must be this door. Looks like we might need a little dynamite to get it open. Keep watch while I get it ready. <laughs> They're coming. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's bad, Marston. Get behind. Get get behind. Burr, burr, burr. Oh, the tension. It's real. Yeah, are you gonna light the dynamite or anything? Damn it. Here goes. Oh, okay. Probably should have stood back a little bit further, but whatever. Eh, we'll be fine. You know, I'm mildly annoyed at the dynamite. Come on, boy. Poor girl. Well, yeah, the poor girl's alive. barely alive because you fucking blew dynamite Let's next to her. Get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. This ain't nice. I know. All right. Keep going. Keep go. Keep go. Keep go. All right. Yeah, you sure did, son. Get that money. Get that pussy money. Oh, hey, game game got a little little weird there. All right. Where are you gonna shoot from? Where are you from, huh? Where you from? I'm helping your ass. At least you could do is start shooting. To the victor, the spoil. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on. Good, good, good. You're gonna save a horse, ride a cowboy, or whatever that song is. Hold on one second here. Just miss. There we go. 
Get on up there, you son of shit. Let's go before any more of them show up. Oh, don't worry, they will. See? I put eight bullets in you. I got your fucking head in the vice. You still alive? Fuck. CJ! Mo! Mo! Come on! Turn to Ricketts, really? Why? But hurry up! I've literally killed everybody here. Fucking old ass, on, fucking shit talking, Lee Van Cleef wannabe motherfucker. Get your ass out there! Damn, where the hell is Carlos? I thought he was meeting us here. Where's the van? The van was supposed to be here! I hope he's coming. I don't want to wait longer than we need to. Now we wait and wait and wait and wait. There he is! Talk about cutting it fine. Wait. Luisa, gracias a Dios. Excellent. The traitor. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Of course he is. Okay, then. I guess we'll you just have the entire continent to look at and look for. How big could Mexico be? Come on. Yeah. All right. Get some of that money. I guess we could go back and, and loot the bodies, but I don't know, that's, 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 that's gonna take a while. Alright, good. Well, we now have $200. So technically I could... Oh. That's enough of that. We'll skin these animals, get some money from that too. Too graphic to show on Twitch. Ooh, orange blood. Brown blood. No, I guess we'll skin this one too. Boy, Pete is going to have a field day with this one. In Red Dead Redemption 2, they just show it. They just show you skinning the fucking animals. Damn, you... I could shoot humans no problem, but wolves, yeah. A little bit of an issue. Volcanic pistol. You guys having trouble out there? Mm 
Yeah, let's give these animals alive. Why not? Where's my horse? All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Back to civilization. What the hell that means? How are we all doing in chat, by the way? Can you give me a yeehaw in the in the chat? Now would be a good time to do the gym dandy. Welcome to the chat. Wait, wait, has the chat been off this whole time? Come on. Am, I, am I still streaming? I am still streaming. So, Twitch is weird today. It took a while to, to, to start the stream. The sound alerts are delayed, and now I'm getting the whole, like, welcome to the chat room. I'm like, what? Have you all been have you all been been chatting on here and I'm not seeing it? Is that what's going on? Is Twitch chat frozen? Let me just check something real quick. No, it's not. I don't know. It's weird. I do see that Matt Long's in here though. So, hey Matt. Surprised Matt hasn't hit us with one of his award winning talk ratings yet. Oh, don't worry, it's coming. I think he's just waiting until the ad break to be over before he, before he does it. <laughs> but I know you're in there, Matt. Yeah. Slow horns to freedom. Tell you what, since I'm here, if I can fucking get around the goddamn big place. All right, there we go. Jesus, how do you get in here? Oh wait a second, is this the wrong location? It is. That's Los Hermanos. Shit. Yeah, we're just gonna go there. Sorry, guys. I know, like, Pablo Escobar is probably in that. He's probably wondering what the hell is going on. Some weird cowboy outside of his house. So we'll just go this way. Let's go. Anyway, our quest to find Bill Williamson and Javier continue. I'll look over this, around this whole goddamn continent if I have to. Let's go. Come on. Oh. Well. I am taking a very long way around there. But we're making progress. Let's go. Ole, ole, ole. Love that this is the dude we rescued off the mountain in RDR2. Yeah, it is. It is. And yet, you know, the tables have turned. Only, only ten years later. They make it out like this gang was so awful in the per in, in this game, and yet, not really. We, didn't, we weren't really that bad. It's really Dutch who was bad. 
In terms of the, the Dutch, everybody else in the gang is kind of, well, Mike is kind of a bad guy, but, you know, so be it. But it seems like everybody else in that gang is not too bad. Yeah, Marston is actually a pretty good guy, and, like, Javier wasn't too bad, and honestly, Billy Williamson wasn't that, that bad in the gang either. It's only Dutch that, like, went a little went a little crazy. Dutch is just a bad guy in general. He meant well, but he, uh, his idea of a utopian paradise away from law and order didn't quite work out the way he wanted to, and he had a meltdown because of it. And dragged the entire fucking gang down with him. And he always had a plan. And for some reason, they were okay with the plan. Even though his plans usually sucked and got everybody in trouble and kicked out of whatever hideout they were at. And they just had to keep moving. You think after a while, somebody would be like, Hey, you know what, Dutch? Your plans aren't working. And like, your, your plans are not good. You think somebody would have done that? In fact, the whole uh, here's here's the plot of Red Dead Redemption Two. I got a plan, Arthur. I always have a plan. This is a good one. I got a plan. Uh, what is it this time? Oh, it's a good one. I got a plan. It's just like God damn it! All your plans suck. There we go. Mexican poncho entry entry completed. All right. Would be Mexico without a whole bunch of shooting going off in the distance. They open drawer. Wait. Every chapter's like, then they rode into this town and got on a shootout and killed everyone, so they left to go to a different town to do it again. Pretty much! That is pretty much the game for 60 hours. And then this game is just like, oh, I gotta go clean up the mess that Dutch started. Gentleman's attire, deadly assassin. Duster coat. Hey, there we go. I got myself a... Now, is that a real poncho or a Mexican... Or, or a Sears poncho? Ole! John Marston! John Marston! Ole! Mike, unfortunately, is a busy mang today, so I don't know if he's going to be in on the stream or not. But it's okay. He, 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 Mike, Mike jumps in when he can. Diablos rojos fasvalos, oh, the devil, the puppet played the string. Hold on a second. Oh, that's the soundtrack. I still thought that that was Mike. I thought that was Mike for a second making that noise. I thought he was just like. Alright, we're gonna do another land in level. Evening banditos, evening putas. How y'all doing? Lucky in love. Oh yeah, there are some titties in this game. Oh, please don't let me play Blackjack. I don't want to play Blackjack. Hey, Mr. Marston. How you keeping, sir? Just fine, thank you. And you? Oh, very well, sir. Thank God my wife died. Oh. Unlucky in love. Lucky in cards. <laughs> champagne for everyone. Keep playing, Mr. Ricketts. Oh, I'm sorry, Hermore. I'll keep playing you in servitude for the rest of your life on Earth, if that makes you happy. Yes, I should. <laughs> ah, yeah. Thanks, Jim. Oh, Marston, would you like to join us? I don't think so. I'm just going to have a drink. Oh, come on. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, then. Gentlemen. I'm still teaching you for some reason. 
Guy, who's the guy on the right? Agent 47? Three round force starts with a force bet called the small blind. The person left of the dealer must bet half of the minimum bet. Man, I don't know what I'm doing. Another American. Now I need two pairs of eyes. I'll take a whiskey. If you're buying, Muller. Fold! Oh, yeah, it's giving up. You forfeit all the chips you have bet so far. Man, I don't I don't understand. Muller, we might have to send you off prospecting for more silver soon. Do I fold? You don't like your hand fold. Look at your cards. <laughs> now ain't that something. Fold? I, I don't know. Fold. Too much for me. A little low, don't you think? I'm never playing this after after this. This is turning out to be one hell of a day. I never thought I'd be playing cards with Landon Ricketts. Okay. Always Are those good cards? Like I don't I don't understand card game. This is why I don't play. This is why I don't gamble. This is why I don't play Kirk. This is why I don't play Gwent on Witcher. Like, I don't understand. Is King and Jack good? I hate playing poker in RDR2. Never won, no matter how good my hand was. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling... Stay, don't hit. I'm going to fold. No, I'm out. I'll raise you. Not for me. This is scandalous. Okay, she good. You fucking cheat. Excuse me? You fucking looked in my fucking cards, you fucking cheat. Now her muller. Let's calm down. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. Your Yankee friend here is a fucking cheat. Easy there, Germany. Calm yourself down. Oh yeah, you know exactly what you did. Yeah, well, I know black exactly what 21 I did, friend, over 10 each. Okay. I'd prefer it if we could all play a friendly game and no one get hurt. You, you planted this guy, Ricketts. Now, why would I do that? I've already beaten you. Now, calm down and let's finish the game. There's not, no more cards game. Ease up there, friend. If someone had 21, you would win. Oh. There must be a name for this. Yeah, it's called being a sore pass, loser. Sir. An impasse. We could all die here and now. I'm not fighting you, Ricketts, but the Yankee him I don't like. He's done you no harm, Muller. He's done me no good either. Outside, winner takes the pot. The winner will take what he wants. The other man will be in no position to argue. Sanchez will be my second. As you wish, Germany. Oh god, do I have to win this shit? Well, you know, if I do win, I'll probably die, so. Walk with me, John. I want to make sure you know how this is going to work. Walk with Ricketts. Oh, the duel. Oh, just a duel. Man, I've duel dueled before. Come on. You pull your gun too soon, you'll be less accurate. After you draw, pick your shots carefully. I I, the game is acting like I've never done this before. In the hands of fate. Manos, the hands of fate. Manos is Spanish for hands. I'll show you what happens so, to hands, the hands of fate. All right, Agent Forty Seven, draw. Ooh, look at that big old bloody Muller gash. Your health. <laughs> you, uh, the man they call Marston, see? <laughs> you like killing? Watch me cut her throat. Nice friends you got here, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> Do you, Marston. Eh, peleamos ahora, eh? We fight now. <laughs> oh, really? I don't think so. Careful, Marston. I know that girl. Oh, madre mía! 
Why is she so much louder than everyone else? I like how in the original RL, LE4, Leon oh, acted like the hill full of Ganadas right before the castle is too much and to run across the bridge. Like, bitch, do you not remember the fucking village? Yeah, yeah seriously. It, Leon has a five second memory. No, por favor. Alright. What? Are you for real? Dad! Speaking to your point about the game, I feel like a. Yeah, it was too much. It's just like, oh, I gotta run across the bridge. Okay, game, can we, can we, please? Okay. No puede ser. Oh, madre mía. Oh, well, that worked. That worked. Ole! Ole! Stay away from Chubalos. I've had it with you. Well, partner, I think we can safely say this poker game is over. Yeah, I think so. Well, I must say, you tourists certainly bring peace and prosperity <coughs> to this. Hey, place. you fucking started it. You enjoyed me to this stupid ass yeah, poker I'm game. He wasn't much of a poker player. What's that stupid song in the 90s? Crazy game of poker. Let's see what you got. Alright. And yet, we still have more Landon Ricketts missions. Get the hell out of my way. Ooh, I like that drunk trombone. He was alive. This would be adultery. I mean, but he's not alive, so. All right, let's uh, let's sell some shit. Why not? I think he is. Sir. Buenos precios, senor. Wolf meat. Muted trumpet is an interesting choice for a western. It is. There's some interesting instruments that I've heard. Like Jew's harp was another one. They didn't go as hard as like the uh, the the western movie right uh, influence on RDR2 when it came to the soundtrack. The soundtrack was kind of its own thing. In this game, it's just like yeah, Morricone. <laughs> How are you, mister? Estoy aquí. Si usted tiene alguna pregunta... Scrap. Fire bottle. Nick oil. I don't, I don't need any of this shit. It's a, it's a really excellent soundtrack. There's a lot of... Just a, just a wide variety of strange instruments that they use in this one. So anyway, um, what time is it? 425? Landon Ricketts. Yeah, I'll try to, I'll be on here till about 6 o'clock tonight. You know, trying to make kind of a longer stream than last night. Care to play poker with the no, I never want to play poker again. Instead, I should take the women. I know that. Ah, poor gay. The Mexican wagon train. <laughs> hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Oh, his poncho is getting a little glitchy there. Say. You have trouble there, John? Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. He's getting the shakes from lack of alcohol. Why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. Who's kind of is that normal? <laughs> so what is this? Some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. Well, well, you've killed people. You lived a life. And a good life it was. And I have. 
And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. What is happening with his poncho? I, I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Wait a second. Did he get shot? He was left on a train. I do remember that. But it, it wasn't like he was left to get shot. I don't know. Our old leader? A fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind. Went and shot a bunch of people on Fairlike. I got shot in a robbery. Once again, debatable. He did get shot in a robbery, yeah. There was that. There was that big robbery that didn't work out too well. A lot of people got shot in that robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> That's not entirely true. He left later. <laughs> Already had me a woman. He wasn't going got to leave. Arthur Morgan was like, get the hell out of here. I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> I've been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. This is, this is, this is the biggest bummer of Red Dead Redemption 2. Is that they really did not, like, go into his backstory. Or, like, where he came from. And it kind of always disappointed me because I, I I really do like Landon. I think he's a great character. Sitting around here. They just never really bring him up in the second game. We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink. And let's walk it would have been really cool to like kind of run into him somehow. Your health. In, in uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you, and you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? Like maybe Arthur could have ran into him, you know. I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. I got finished. RDR2 I still ain't done anything. Oh, well, I won't, I won't spoil anything, though. Whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. I might stream it one of these days. I have officials. finished it. It would, be, it would be good to, like, come back to this. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! <laughs> I was just <laughs> joking. Where are they? Out near In fact, there's a few streams that um, pity and go shoot I must not have saved. You're gonna be all right. Because, like, there's a bunch of them. Like, there was a Thank game. You. There was a, a a game I played by a bunch of Native American developers called uh, Never Alone. I I I'm not sure. I, maybe I don't even Let's remember streaming it. But I I do remember playing it and beating it, and I think I streamed it, but like. It's just not on the YouTube, and I don't know where the episode is. And Mike wasn't on that one, so he didn't have like a copy of it. I swear to God, I streamed that game. It was one of the early streams I did, so like nobody really showed up. I swear, to, I swear, I, I streamed that game. And it was like one long stream too. It was like. It's not a long game. It's only like two or three hours. For just having an opinion. What are you doing? Stick with me or don't ride with me at all. You must miss your family. It's I the only thing that with keeps you. me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived a charm life. A semi charm well, life. Respect, love, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. A day's work. I would try to make a stream because sometimes work gets away. That's totally fine, man. Like, I always find it funny whenever people apologize for missing my stream. It's just like, I'm playing a fucking video game in the middle of the day. It's like, oh, sorry I missed your stream. I had literal life fucking things and important shit than to watch some pudgy man play a video game. All I'll be leaving behind is... Like, no, you don't have to apologize for it. You can still be a father. No, not now. It's too late for me. But you, you still have the time. I hope so, It's sir. not too late for you, Landon. Do... Al Pacino had a kid, and he was 80 years old. Do you see that? Prison wagons. That must be them. Come on. See if you can take control of that first wagon. Too close. Oh, 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 well, yeah, maybe I shouldn't, like, go blindly into that and just, like, guns a-blazing and, like, get killed immediately. Maybe that was a bad idea. But you know me. 
Hey, my poncho it's gives me convoy. My poncho Anything gives me strength. In those wagons. This is our chance. See if you can take control of that first one. Yeah, baby. Damn, I'm smooth and dead again. Dead. I used to do that every time I die in this game. You see that? Yeah, I see the fucking prison wagons. Come on. All right, let's try it again. No horses were harmed. There we go. We'll do that. There we go. Oh wait, that's you. That's him. That's him. Never mind. Oh shit. You ain't gonna kill any more innocent people now. Never mind, let me let me let me get let me get after them. Oh, I shot I shot a hat off. There we go. Dead Eye is so close. It is. Dead Eye is uh, perfect for this game. There are some people who don't use it. And I'm just like, it makes the game so much harder. <laughs> but I didn't really use Dead Eye all that much in Red Dead Redemption 2. In this game, it's kind of vital. But also, I uh, just an award winning shooter. So, uh, I don't really need it all that much. <laughs> no. I'm only... I'm only being an asshole. Of course I'm using it. Oh! <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me get back on the road. Boom! Boom! We made it to the border. All right, you're in America. Like, go get a job. Come on, they need grizzled old prospectors and miners somewhere in America. So, uh, have fun. No, no talking? No, like, gracias, por favor? I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you, too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well-connected in that other land. I gotta go continue being a member of the Allman Brothers. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. All right, I'm no longer needed in this series. Good John Marston smoking a cigarette, being Mr. Badass over here. All right, well that that was fun. That was a good mission. Are there any other missions in America that I really need?
No. Just Desanta. So. Oh yeah, I got a house over there. Nice. So I need to go to Punta Argulo. All the way across the map. See all that land over there? That's Red Dead Redemption 2 territory. You must never go over there, my son. You know, sad, the sad thing is, uh, you cannot go to Mexico in Red Dead Redemption 2. And you can clearly see it in the map. You can clearly, like, it, it's detailed and everything. So there must have been, like, some sort of idea of, like, there must have been, like, an idea to actually go to Mexico in Red Dead Redemption 2, but of course it got cut. But you can, I mean, you can make it to Armadillo and, like, a few other spots from the first game. So that's cool. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm a good man. To the victor, the spoil. You say that a lot, John. Can you think of something better to say when you're looting a body? Right. These quiet moments where you can really appreciate this good solid stream. I got a lot of money. I mean, not a lot. And hold on, let's have some fun for a second before let's let's do this. Let me get off of here. Let me get let me get the inflation calculator out. This is interesting. I love doing shit like this. Something I'm always fascinated by. So, two hundred eighty-nine dollars, right? And it's nineteen thirteen. That's a large amount for the 1880s. Well, we're going to find out exactly how much it is. So in 1913, $289. In 2024, that would be... I have $9,204 on me if it was 2024. That's a lot. I mean, that's like what? A pay, at least a payment on a house? On a cheap house? Yeah, I literally have like thousands of dollars on me in eighteen eight in the, in the nineteen twelve or whatever. Let's go. Need the over nine thousand. Sound? I don't have that one. Sadly. Come on. You know, I never really got into Dragon Ball, Dragon Balls, Dragon Ball Z. Well, I'm not really much of an anime guy. I do like. You know, old Japanese animation. Like, Akira is a masterpiece, of course. But I, I do like Cowboy Bebop. That's a, a great... Uh, that's a great anime. And I do like a lot of... Uh, um, what is it? Studio Ghibli movies. From, like, the 70s and 80s. Like, you know, The Castle of, Do of Calistrano. And uh, Spirited Away. And Princess Mononoke. Shit like that. But I'm not really a big anime guy. There are some really good, crazy animes from the 80s that's not that goofy. Turn the stolen horse to its owner. I don't know if this is... Come back here with that man's horse, you filthy rich son of a bitch, you. Come on, come on now. This might be a problem. Or that too, that too. Never mind. 
What if I get a new horse from this? You know, I did just kind of shoot a guy in cold blood. I'm surprised that that didn't give me, like, less honor or, like, have somebody after me. Olé! Which is not even his. Okay. Do I get money for that? Or... Actually, no, that was a nice thing to do. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, we should probably save. Can I buy, can I buy a hooker? What are you all doing standing around? Come on, you're Mexicans. Drink tequila. Get crazy, and shoot guns in the air, and have sex. Tis the Mexican way. I can always lasso up a, a fine, fine-looking woman, fine-looking puta. I mean, it is 1913. I could. It's probably considered more than okay at this point. What's going on here? Why is why is why is chat being stupid? It keeps being like welcome to the chat room. I don't know why it does that. I'm still I I, I think I'm still streaming, right? Can I not say? Okay, there we go. Game is being weird. Everything's being weird right now. Game won't let me save. The 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 Twitch chat is refreshing. Sound alerts are being long. CR Gibbs is giving me a scream of the reggae. What's going on? Why is that like not delayed? Why is why is Jim Dandy taking forever to load? Hola. Hola. I'm sorry, pal. All right, I saved the game. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna hog tie me up a less. Yeah. Hold on, I'm just trying to hog tie you, miss. I need you. I have sexual fantasies that need fulfilled. Yeah. There you go, girl. Sorry, this is just something I want to do. You're good to go. Get her. Oh, oh god, oh god, okay, 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 I'm really sorry I hog died your local prostitute. Alright. We'll just we'll just load. I don't feel like fucking with that. So whatever. I got I got I got needs as a as a sexually frustrated forty year old man. Guns a blaze. Yeah, I haven't really gone on any like killing sprees or anything like that. Oh well. I'm playing it safe. That's right. Dance for me, puta. I'm dumb. <laughs> Is it your horse? Good. Come on, Roach, or whatever your name is. I'm gonna call my horse Big Dick Bill. Mom, big dick bill, down to the rain. Ah, uh, Mexico. Hey, you know, back in 2010, this was a huge map. And now I'm looking at it, I'm like, ah, it's not that big. But I am going to say something a little controversial. But I do think Red Dead Redemption 1 is a tighter, better game than Red Dead Redemption 2. It gets the point across a little easier. 
Look, there's nothing wrong with Red Dead Redemption 2. There's absolutely nothing. Well, actually, yeah, there is. It's way too long. Gameplay-wise, it's fine. Exploration-wise, it's fine. But God, it is just... It goes on and on and on and on and on. It is so long. And it does not need to be that long. Like, there's just moments of like, couldn't we have edited this? Red Dead Redemption 1, though, you could beat the whole thing in about 20 hours. Like, it's just a tighter game. It's, it's sometimes when, when they have a little too much freedom and a little too much... Too, too much... Too of everything going on, it can really bog down the game. Like, looting a body takes forever in Red Dead Redemption 2. At one point, I'm like, I'm not even gonna loot any more bodies, because it's just the animation. Just, it's like... It literally takes, like, 15 seconds for you to loot a body in that game. Whereas this game is like, bop, bop, bop. This is back when uh, Rockstar was actually, like, dumping out, or pouring out games kind of quickly. It's pretty realistic in that way. It is realistic, but there's a fine line between realism and just uh, being annoying in a video game. It's like, yeah, you can do all this realistic stuff, but it's like, we're not playing games to, like, be realistic. Like, I don't know. It just... It, it gets a little annoying after a while to, like... It's like, oh, I want to loot all these bodies that I just killed, but it's gonna take fucking ten minutes if I do. So after a while, I'm like, alright, we're... Let's move on. You want a ride, friend? I'm good. Anyway, this is, like, the Pablo Escobar of the game, if I remember correctly. One of these guys are. It's like you're trying to find your, your Javier Bill, and then you get kind of caught up in, like, a revolution. <coughs> Not gonna lie, a big reason I stopped playing RDR2 is because the legendary bear I skinned stole my horse to a crawl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then just, like, catching those legendary animals can, like, really, like, just take forever to go... And it's just like, even even fast traveling takes a while. There's like this whole animation of like going across the fucking pr lone prairie. Like, it's just like, this is a tighter, faster experience. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Shoot him! I'm not shooting everybody, Snot Rag, I know. You kind of remind me of an old friend of mine. When I was playing, uh, uh, he's not a friend of mine anymore. He kind of went crazy and kind of turned into a racist shithead. But anyway, remember we were playing Baldur's Gate 2. And uh, he was looking over, he was he was next to me. He's like, why aren't you killing them? I'm like, I, you don't kill everybody, dude. And you're like, and then he started doing the song. It's like, you must kill, you must maim, you are a man, you have nipples, they do not. It is really funny. He could be really funny, but he was also like a racist shithead, and I stopped hanging out with him because he started getting really creepy and weird. Well, that's high school for you. It's always really funny whenever somebody's like, hey, you remember back in high school, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, that was 20 fucking years ago. You think I remember that shit? No. No, I don't. Look at us, complaining about weight slash travel times in a Western game. I know. It's supposed to be slow. Um, okay. Oh, am I supposed to go up to it? Okay. I was like, what the fuck's going on? What do you want, Gringo? Don't remind me. What are you the doing? The 20-year reunion is next year. You he went full skinhead on you, eh? On. Yeah, he sure did. My name's John Marston. Hold on, y'all. I gotta turn the light on. I'm just getting a little dark in here. Just one second. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Or better yet, we'll just turn this light on. There we go. How are you doing over there, son? Free. Oh, free. Still burning.
Sorry about that. All right. All right, I got four viewers, so they ain't, they ain't gonna rat on you, but. Sorry, we're doing criminal business back here. No, I'm <laughs> Been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? You want to talk to my boss, Gringo? Gringo. I guess. Because I'm not good enough for you? No, sir. Am I a clown? Do I abuse you, you and make you laugh? You come to my country. My poor little country. Uh, and you think you can be friends with oh, the this president? this guy is oh, Al pacino -ing all over the place. Things must have come out wrong. Where are you from, man? Help me. You'll be sorry, friend. <laughs> of course. Relax. I mean, relax. <laughs> you... Sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. The Joe Pesci the of Mexico. Let's go meet drink. But if you say anything wrong, I will kill you. My name is Capitan Vicente de Santa. That's a big name. My country is in pain, John Master. Come to the damn my daughter's man. The rebels have seized the people by the throat and destroy a way of life. I'm no politician, sir. You know, Rockstar really likes referencing, yeah, uh, referencing no, like gangster movies from like mm -hmm. decades well, past. They love doing that shit. A brave man. I mean, let's be honest. Vice City really was just Scarface fan fiction. He's trying to preserve the order in our province. And, you know, San Andreas was basically like stuff. Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society the fan fiction. Sometimes in the service of what is right, you gotta do terrible things. Okay, Pablo. It breaks my heart. Why are you looking at a guy weirdly? I also am no moralist, sir. I wish I enjoy your freedoms, Mr. Marston. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. I believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no moralist, but you hunt outlaws. Let's be double honest. What great gangster Same. movies have come out recently? Um, I am the government, or what is left of it. Hmm. Outlaws seek each. I mean, there's quite a few. The, the the 2010 version of True Grit's really good. Um, what's that one that's like really? Oh God, I paused at a weird spot here. He looks drunk as fuck. Is this guy on the right taking a piss? Um, what was the one? It was like really gruesome, like cannibals, like bone something, bone American. I, I can't remember the title, but that was really like fucking, it was fucked up. Um, and you know, the hateful eight, of course. And Django Unchained. In the hills Bone Tomahawk. That was it. Yeah, that movie is something else. Where could I find this Reyes? It was like Cannibal Holocaust. That's more Western horror than gangster. Oh, yeah. Oh, gangster movies. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking of uh, Westerns. Well, the last really good one was uh, The Irishman. Even though... There are moments where Robert De Niro is supposed to play a 30-year-old man, and that, you know, he's a 70-year-old man. You. Like cholera. <laughs> <laughs> Something like Once that. again, my poncho is going out of it's control. Possible, my men Heller High, are High Water sort of gangster in this that background. Oh, yeah, yeah. Possibly Public Enemies is a really good one. And if everything goes, but that was like 2009. Okay. I'm sure the coronel will help you. Okay. Is that supposed to be the wind blowing his poncho around, or is that just like a glitch? Vámonos! I think it's the wind. Are you going to ride with me? Ride shotgun with DeSanto, take your own horse. I'm riding shotgun. 
Yeah, they should have just cast a younger actor and used a stunt double for the beat dance in there. It's bad. It's so bad. Like, it's just like... It's a fully grown-ass fucking 70-year-old man kicking like... Uh, uh, it just... It, it, it looks terrible. There's a podcast I watch called Come Town that uh, talks about that scene and how ridiculous it is. Hold on tight. We're in a hurry. Are they gonna have like important dialogue? Such yeah. a warm welcome from the Mexican army. I can see. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like violent and oppression here. Words of the peasants have been taught. But do not understand meaningless words. The army is suffering. Um uh, I do like these moments. Reputation. Oh, shit. Even I've heard about the colonel down here. He's not famous for his compassion. This is the point. Have you met Coronel Allende? Do you know him? Allende? No. Like a papagayo? He just repeat lies you heard. Maybe. Allende is a good man, a strong man. He carries the weight of a million problems on his shoulders. Am I supposed to pity him? You gringos are so quick to judge. You love to talk bad to <laughs> other people because it makes you feel better about yourselves. Maybe hey, weren't you just like smiling and laughing at me a minute ago? Talking about this, and I ain't here to make judgment on the way of your government. I've got enough problems with my own right now. This isn't America, so you're master. We are poor. Kindness must take a different form. What is better? To pull your arm around a hungry man or to be until he grows some food to eat? I think you need to answer that question yourself. I really like that line. I do. Man, the, the dialogue in this game is great. It really is. He's a Mexican friend. Bill Williams is a fellow I used to know, and Javier Escuela. Well, I knew him this too. is some excellent dialogue in this game. You know we was friends once. Part of the past I can't seem to get rid of. The past is all that's real, my friend. They cannot be erased. That is the problem with the people here. They spend too much time dreaming about imaginary futures. I know I can't change the past, but I'm sure going to do something about the future. Whatever helps you sleep. I have a feeling John Martin's going to live a long, healthy life. Criminals. Mostly in the service of the rebel pigs. Mexico is an easy place for a man to lose himself, whether he wants to get lost or not. Hopefully not too easy. I ain't got much time to find these men. It must be a Keep the spoilers to the minimum, by the way. The highest price. And I ask how much? I'm not getting paid. It's it's a long story. I'm being made to do this. I will never understand you Americans. Me neither. We have a system of law in Mexico, senor. We do not follow the people who think they can run with their own. However, if you help us, if we help you, no one hides from Colonel Allende for long. Alright, now we can skip the destination. That's some good dialogue, though. This is why you don't skip to the destination. It's not far now. Are you ready? Ready for what? And it's a different time of day now. There's a train leaving to Parosa soon. We're going to escort it. We think it's a supply train. There are no supplies on it. Very clever. We Did we just do a mission like, like that where we did a Trojan we horse mission? Come on up, they can't have you. Come on, le horse. Um, chat, I don't know if you know this or not, but, uh, Ole. Follow me. Let's go. Adelante. Just, uh, I thought I'd let you know that. Stay with the train, senor. Oh, escorting a train? Alright. Oh. 
Alright, come on. Come on. So bloody, so bloody. The dead eye meter. Uh, yeah. Too bad. Boom. Why are you aiming at me? Ah, that's a good question. Sorry. Skunk! Kill the skunk. Somehow, we'll make it. Let's get back to the double barrel shot, man. 
Actually, no, let's use the pistol. Oh, 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 okay. Good. Good, I wanted to do this again anyway. All we had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. no damage and this time I won't run in the middle of the, the tracks so long to not have delay. But thank you for that. Alright, there's gonna be there's gonna be guys in here that are gonna try to blow this bridge up. Give me a checkpoint. I don't want to do this again. Prepare to die, amigo. Come on. I think we're near the end. 
Hopefully. This might be the end of it. Yep. Good, 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 good. Let's get ahead of the train and not get run over. What's this fucker doing? Oh! Los rebeldes están robando el tren! Uh, you're gonna have to do something. What? You have to go out there and start the train before it crosses the bridge. <laughs> Easy enough, right? No problem. Why would why we let them take the train to begin with? In your fights! Let's go! Okay, hold on, let's get that uh where is it? Apple? Yeah, there we go. Get up front and jump on the train. On the train. Boom. Uh oh. That might be a problem. My poncho is going out of control. This is back in the day when you could just stop a train like that. that boy that looked an awful awfully familiar uh, jump there John where have you seen a height like that before in the night all right we're getting quite known in in these parts of Mexico in the night Where my horse at? There we go. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Bao indeed. Thank you for that. All right, so let's see what we got. We only got a few more. We only got about forty-five minutes left. We can do another Desanta level, or. We can do Louisa. I'd rather do DeSanta, personally. Keep that going. Let's just go save the treasure hunter. I will give you the locations of more treasure. This life is too dangerous for me now. Oh, good. Thanks, mister. I could use a little luck. I sure could, but I don't really care about that. What have we got here? What do we have here? Hmm, some hot I sacks. Going to hell before I am now. So anyway, let's uh, get this out. 
I need medicine and ammo. A personal save. That poncho going crazy is kind of bothering me a little bit. So we're just going to go back to his cowboy outfit. Anyway, uh, we need to go to Chuparosa. So, let's do that. Free of charge. Really good to have that improved campsite. You can pretty much refill your ammo. And it's free. Let's, uh, let's get some stuff here. No, no tequila. There we go. Rifle ammo, too. Alright. Shotgun ammo. And why not? Let's get some snake oil as well. And, uh... Oh, is there no medicine? Ain't that a bitch. Oh wait, it's it's in the other area. Over here. That's why. Hello, sir. Yeah, we need we need some, some medicine. Alright. And you know what? Apples as well. And horsey boner pills. Okay. Can't really sell anything because I don't have anything, but whatever. So we'll do like one or two more missions and then we'll call the stream. Um, probably have enough time for like two, maybe. Depends on how quickly it goes. So we'll, we'll try. Maybe we can finish up to Santa before the stream is over. You never know. Anyway, let's go that way. There's my house. Let's go. I'm not sure what game I'm going to stream after this. I have no idea. I never really do until, like, I'm just like, oh, yeah, there's that game. But, you know, I've been thinking about doing Beyond Good and Evil. Because I've been, meaning, I've been wanting to play that game for a while. And I have this uh, 20th anniversary uh, version. Yeah, I've been meaning to, I've been wanting to play that game for a while. But there are like a ton of other games that I've been wanting to play. You're on your own, bye. I definitely do not want to do horror because I we, we I attempted horror for uh, all of October and it didn't quite work out too well. Silent Hill 2 not working was kind of a huge bummer. And I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of burnt about that. I'm gonna read. I'm, I'm gonna wait for some patches to roll out with uh, Silent Hill 2, and then I'll, uh, I'll come back and finish that one up. But yeah, I'm pretty much going to like pick up where we left off in Silent Hill 2. When that happens. So consider consider Silent Hill 2 on the shelf for now. We will come back to it. It just it has to we got to they got to figure out like the performance issues cuz it's it just it was running like sheer ass. And I have to finish that game because that is one of my all-time favorite games. So I, I do want to I do want to try out the remake. I was having a really great time with the remake. So yeah, it is a huge bummer. But, I mean, if, if it's unplayable, it's unplayable. I mean, that's just all how it is. Can I rent? Can I can I buy this area? Purchase one fifty. Not a pass, stranger. Ah well. I should have enough money soon to do 
get this one. Uh, yeah, let's do this mission up here. Nope, there goes my horse. My mistake, sir. Sorry. Hola. Hello. You can tell they wanted to make this this world really lived in and have everybody like doing their thing, but they just didn't quite get the technology yet. Eres your own maricón. Me das asco. Hablas lealtad, pero eres transparente. Estarás aplaudiendo cuando mi cabeza está en pelado, ¿verdad? No, 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 mi excelencia. Mis hombres y yo estamos trabajando noche y día por su honor. ¿Su honor? ¿Qué eres, un muchacho? Jovencito sin vergüenza. What should I do with their saying? ¿Qué diablos es este cabrón? That's, that's the man who helped us defeat Reyes. The man I spoke to you of. <laughs> A friend of Mexico. Hello, sir. Hola, gringo. So you are the bounty hunter, huh? Have you found your prey yet? No, sir. Ah, perhaps you come to hunt me, huh? Your country loves to make trouble in mine. Hey, now. Perhaps, but it isn't so. Ah, perhaps I should tie you to a horse and let it drag you around town. Or let the dogs fight you, huh? <laughs> What's so funny? Then see what you say. I'd say the same thing. I'm here to bring two men to justice, nothing more. Your politics or ideas of entertainment are not my concern. Yeah, I suppose not. But it's on two years. Sinceramente, espero que me encontraste alguna compañía más interesante que ese bruja que me traíste anoche. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you know anything of the men I'm looking for? Escuela is from this province. Father was a borracho. Borracho. As a labor on land cultivated by my uncle. Men like that are natural allies for Reyes. My people have lived and worked here for a hundred years. We brought civilization. And these people, these fucking monkeys, despise us. We brought them God. And they turned their back on him. Now I fight to help them from themselves, to save them from themselves. I see in their faces that they would kill me if they could. <laughs> I mean, probably. Is she only a tyrant? That is the way it is. These people need a ruler. Well, sorry to hear that. Sorry? Why be sorry? It is a way of mankind. A fight between two forces. Yeah, we That's always got to be fighting, don't will we? Will be. Will be. But I know one thing, Senor Marston. Force, <laughs> force, must be used if you're to have your own way. I'm sure. Now, perhaps you can uh, do me a favor while I find these men for you. Of course. After we find the men, then I'll help in any way I can. Ah, that, 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 you are in no position to negotiate. Yeah, I am. Now, por favor, a bunch of these idiots men are fighting at Tesoro Azul. You head there and you lend your support. Uh, of course. Gotta get involved. Also, quantos veces voy a decirte? No ponga detrás de mí. Que eres, cabrón. No está mi sombra. Vaya. I sent some men ahead. We will meet them there. You're just trying to find your, these two idiots who yeah. used to be in a gang and now you get involved in this whole goddamn revolution. Finally met your great leader. He certainly lives up to his reputation. What would you know about leadership? Only that most can't handle power. It is like to put it aside power when you have never had it yourself. Maybe it is because you have never been in the presence of a strong man before. I beg to differ. I have seen the pictures of your country in the newspapers. Men grinning and decorating themselves like women. Vanity is the legacy the British left behind. Look, I don't know the fella. Just saying. That's how he treats his own men. Coronel Allende controls any situation he's in because he knows that situation can never be allowed to control him. It is what a leader must do. And in case you had not noticed, 
We're fighting a war. We're all under a lot of pressure. Pressure to find young girls? The Coronel needs recreation like everyone else. He does not have time to court women. He's waging a war on ignorance. And his impatient for victory. Ah. He's trying to inspire wisdom in those more stupid than himself. We must hurry. You Americans think you can ride? Do you? Come on. I will race you there. I don't really want to race. Do you want me to stop down? I'm ready to get the fuck out of the way then. How about that? I really don't want to race. All right, I gotta bounce, big bow. It's okay. We're about to. I'm gonna wrap it up in about half an hour. So probably after this mission, I'll wrap it up. But thanks for sticking around, man. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back on Thursday. Big bubble. Why have we got a race? So, Come on. I guess we ain't taking any prisoners then. Show that we will not tolerate the rebellion any longer. We're animals. We will slaughter them according to Oh, I bet we will. Hey now. Let's have some fun. Oh, you're talking to him. I'm gonna say I can show you a few things. Search the town for rebels. A rebel I will be. Oh boy. Oh boy. Walked right into that one, didn't I? Hey, Legal Eye Shemp is here. Welcome in, only three and a half hours into the stream, but hey, thanks for tracking. It happens, man. Everybody everybody shows up when they can. So you're, you're here for the grand finale of this of the stream. Shit, sorry, Albert. No, you're good, man. I'll be on for another half hour. Good to see you as well. But you did miss the big moment with Jose Gonzalez music, so. Which CR Games ruined with a Jim Dandy sound effect. Like, brilliant music moment immediately ruined. Alright, alright, you die, you die, you die. Our hero just mowing down Mexicans. Uh, Ole, rootin', tootin', bootin', scootin', shootin'. Goddamn right. You understand all too well. Oh, okay, we can do that. Whoa, why, why, why am I floating on that guy? Time to take care of people in weird hats. I'll just take your money. Some hot drums. Very unusual sounds for for a Western man. I can say that these drums sound a little too modern for this kind of story, but whatever. Um, in case you haven't said anything, chat, uh, Ole. And, uh, <laughs> But yeah, we did have a nice, healthy talk about some rares of dope. I live in some places hot, sunny, and humid as the Southwest. You best believe I'd wear it. I I'm thinking about next stream, I should just get, like, a giant foam sombrero. That, that would be wonderful. Like, gigantic one, if I can. Out of the damn way. I 
heard the little horse crying in that house over there. Hey now. Remember, nobody takes them before Allende. We did all this just to get women for Allende? <laughs> no, that's just a bonus. This village is riddled with rebels. Make sure they don't have homes to come back to. There are fire bottles over there. Even bitches. To burn down some of these houses. And what makes you think I'd do that? You want to find Javier Escuela, don't you? Done. You're helping Mexico. Vámonos, muchachos. Buen trabajo. Yo me quedo aquí para vigilar el gringo, Capitán de Santa. You heard the captain? The fire bottles are over there. Yo, we're gonna burn this place down, huh? Hey, all right. Venga, let's do it quickly. I want to go home. Burn one of the rebel hideouts. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. Let's put a bit of light on the situation. <laughs> There we go. That's what we think of you. Viva le, le Mexico. Mexico. Isn't that beautiful? Not really. You really are pathetic. You need to relax. Come back to the villa. And sample some of the new girls before they spoil. Ah, symbolism. Oh, that's a cool shot. I like that. John Marston in the burning cross okay well we, I, I guess we have time for like one more mission yeah I think we have time for one more but I'll, I'll be back on uh, Thursday so I'm gonna take a day off to uh, Head down for music reasons. You got anything interesting, friend? So there is that. <coughs> Sorry, just been busy. Excuse me, Mister. Been talking for three and a half hours. My throat's a little dry. Come on. But we did make a lot of pro uh, progress today. I mean, we're in Mexico now, so um, we can do one more DeSanta level. I think. Yeah, let's just do that real quick. I'll catch you then, amigo. I've been staring at charts full time after work. I mean, that's fine. But yeah, well, we have about 25 more minutes left of this, this stream, so. I'd appreciate it if you stuck around, but if you don't, that's fine too. Monkey sperm coin is down. I'm ruined! Ruined! No, it's been a good one. There's been a few new people in chat. I had three new Paulos today. So, shout out to those people. It's been a, a pretty good stream all in all. So. And I mentioned on stream earlier that um, the 300 follow goal, when I get to 300 follows, um, I will stream the Tickle Tickle game, Killing Time Resurrected. But that's only if I get to 300 follows. We'll do a special stream of that goofy ass game. But we're getting there. We're at 261. Yeah. Oh, I could probably buy that, that house now. I think I have enough money. I kind of want to do that. Sick. You know, man, I bought the Night Dive remaster. I can, oh boy. Well. May you have a good time with it. There we go. Ole. But no, it has been it has been really fun and good to come back to this game after so long. You know, and I, I said it before earlier. I think that uh, Red Dead Redemption One is a tighter experience than Red Dead Redemption Two. Not that Red Dead Redemption Two is bad. It's just extremely slow and very long. So, and this game's a little more, uh, faster. I mean, it's all about pacing sometimes. 
Do you remember anything about Red Dead Revolver? I've not played Red Dead Revolver, so I don't really... I don't know anything really about it. I do know that, like, Capcom was going to publish it, but then they, like, chickened out last minute, and then Rockstar ended up publishing it, and the rest is history. And I do know that these games, Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, have nothing to do with Red Dead Revolver. But other than that, I know, I have no idea. Um, I've seen footage of, uh, Red Dead Redemption, or Red Dead Revolver, but I don't really know anything about it. Another game that would be cool to play, I'm not gonna play it immediately after this one because it's like... But it is a game that did influence Red Dead Redemption is a gun. I think that was originally like for, like, GameCube and PS2 back in, like, 2005. And that game, I mean, that game did influence Red Dead Redemption a lot. Yeah, that would be a fun one to play eventually, but I'm not going to play it immediately after this one, because after this, no no, no Western uh, games for a while. I remember it being super cinematic, perhaps too cinematic. It does have a lot of cinematics, I will say that. <coughs> Where are you all going? Mr. Merson, ride with us. Again? Trade. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the main you seek. Come. I have men waiting for us. Just outside Escalera. Come on. Come on. No time to explain the plot. Move. Shoot. Easy. Whoa, whoa. What's the hurry, DeSanta? The Where Rebels we have taken control of an abandoned fort on the other side of Nuevo Paraíso. Many men have been in the place called We can have all the time to stronghold. You can't Torquemada. talk them out of anything. Which are? To kill them all. I should have guessed. Ride with me. We have a long journey ahead of us. All right, whatever you say, man. I'm just trying to find these gang members. I didn't think I'd get involved in Viva la Revolution. Los rebeldes tienen una fortaleza ahora. ¿A dónde vamos a parar? Let's go now. Where, where, where are we going, man? Any important dialogue? All right, well, whatever. Wake up. We're drawing near to Torquemada. It wasn't that far, dude. I've been awake. He is Coron. Keep your eye out. I have a bad feeling about this. Rebels, hold them off. All right. Let's see how they like this. Nope, nope. <laughs> I had the wrong weapon out anyway, so hold on. Come, we're waiting for us. Come, let's, we must hurry. Let's uh, let's get that out. What's the hurry, DeSanta? Where are we going? Blah 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 blah. Don't care. Blah 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 blah. Don't care. Waiting on your dumbass. Come on. Get off your horse. All right. Let's try that again. Captain Espinosa has set a camp at the base of the mesa. We will join forces with him there. All right, there we go. Ooh, cool guitar Just work. Don't. Wake up! We're almost there. Right, let me, yeah, let me make sure that I have the right gun and not... Something doesn't feel right. It's an ambush! Cover us! We need to get to the camp! What now? There we go. There we go. Yuda, they're behind us! <laughs> Let's see what mess that idiot Espinosa has made. Was he that deranged captain at Tesoro Azul? Is he leading this attack? Me? Espinosa does not lead anything. I thought you was the same rank. He is an angry dog. Who let hey, you're playing Killing party. Time, Remaster. That, that means you, you mean got. You. Did you get to the the tickling clowns yet? And have you made short work of them? If so, for shame. Here. 
Ah, Colonel Mustard, he needs our help. No, no, nothing like yet. Only starting after I finish Mass Effect. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't decide if I want to stream Mass Effect 2 or not. I beat Mass Effect 1 off stream. I'm not sure if I want to just if I want to stream the second and third one. I might just I might just play that on my own time. Hey, the Wilhelm scream again. Excellent. All right, all right, all right. All right, we got snipers over there, and for some reason they can get us. But how am I getting shot? I'm I'm taking cover. Again. Get the rolling block. Get the rolling block. Oh well, yeah, that that probably helps. I'm gonna say this is a a lot harder. There we go. Boom. That is all of it. Follow me. The men need help at the blockade. Hot base. <laughs> Ole! We must hold the line. I can't see anything. Got him. Boom. Cover me. Boom. Boom. This is a great mission. I, I do like this one. All right, all right, let's get back to this weapon. Dude, get down! Get, get, run, run! Get! Right, let's try this again. I got a sniper rifle, and yet these guys are shooting with pinpoint accuracy. Vamos! Right, cool. right, let's just change to our rifle here. Andale! Guess the West still is wild. Yeah, sure is. Well, get down from there, you fucking idiot. You are not shooting. Yeah, yeah. What am I shooting at? Jesus Christ. Get him. Thank you. God damn. Masalo. Right, time, time for all the spoils. Here's a hot drum. Here's a hot jazz drum solo, while I loot the bodies. Don't 
I'm getting money, dude. Come on. I need, I need, I need money. I get the rolling rock out. I need cover. Yeah, whatever. I'll let you guys wipe them out. Are Where? you here to fight or not? I'm waiting for him to pop his fucking head out. Oh, for fuck's sake. Whatever. There, asshole. This is where it ends, buddy. My boss, right here. If it ain't me, it's someone else. Mexico. I love that. We need more Wilhelm screams, damn it. Christ, that was close. Well that was that was uh, not close, that was a direct hit. You take the snipers, we can hold up the rest. Cool. Oh boy, oh boy. They get run for it. Yet. All right. Gene Krupa on drums. Hey, what are you doing standing up, you fucking moron? God, the sniper rifle in this game needs a lot to be desired. There we go. Excuse me, mister. Excuse me, mister. Get that money. Give me that grip. Ole! There's a whole lot of madness going on here. Oh, yeah. You know, your sombrero is kind of giving away your position. Because why not? No, oh, hey, horse, no. no I don't want to aim at the fucking throat. My god, the auto aim in this game sucks ass. We're moving though, we're doing it. Adelante. 
Yo, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Got him. That chain on me up there. Boom. Uh, oh, no. There we go. Mexico! Stop doing that! Mate los! This is just a, this is just Western Scarface at this point. Oh, I don't want to die. All right, there we go. Cool. Yeah, it's still ex it's still an exhilarating mission. Fourteen years later, it's still a fun one. At that point, they give you such fucking powerful weapons. And you're so fucking, you're so fucking powerful at this point. And it's just like, what's the point? Tengo hambre. Lo que sea, mujer. Amigo, amigo, qué pasa? Killer like you deserves fine women and wine. The best pleasures earth can give a man. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. I need some information, to Santa. All in good time. <laughs> Uh, my man and I will finish our business here, and we can talk back at Escalera. The next time I see you, I need some answers, Captain. <laughs> go get drunk, go get a woman! Enjoy life! It's a beautiful struggle! <laughs> you little asshole. I'm not helping you with your fucking revolution. Once again, the plot is on fucking standby so that we can have these missions. If we just if we if, if we just beeline toward the plot though, this game would be like eight hours. All right. Do we get any money from that? Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Anyway, let's. Uh, what else we got? What's next? We got some uh, Louisa levels. Let me, let, me, let me loot these bodies real quick, though. Because I need some money. Have I mentioned Olay yet? Because Don't Olay... Be this no more, friend. So, there we go. Alright, well... Let's get away from this hideout. Can I use? Okay, sorry, I cannot. What? I can't camp on on an incline. It has to be flat. Come on, game. Why you gotta do me like that? All right, all right. Well, let's get let's get let's get to a lower level then. Come on! I'm about to run off. Thank you. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. A, little, a little too close for comfort there. Oh, for crying out loud! You can't jump over that. You're not a pona. No, I guess not. Yeah. Thank you. All right, well, oh, we do have another, we have Louisa, but I guess we also have, uh, D, whoever D is, DeSanta. That was not the last DeSanta level, sadly. Get the fuck moving, like, what is wrong, why are you, what is the deal? Why are you throwing me off? Repair! I feel like I can I can camp here. 
There we go. <coughs> All right. Well, I tell you, that's enough to, for the of the stream. If we start with anything else, we're going to go way over. So, that is going to be it for tonight. It's been about four hours, and I'm hungry. So, I crave meat. So, anyway, thank you all so much for uh, tuning in tonight. It's been a real pleasure streaming. It's been a really good one tonight, apparently, as well. So, uh, I'm going to get off of the Discord here. So, I will be back Thursday at 2 o'clock, and we'll do another four hours of Red Dead. And uh, who knows where we'll be after that. I feel like we're going to be, like, probably, like, in the 75% range of being done. I think we're only about halfway right now. So, but yeah, thank you all so much for, uh, for tuning in. Uh, if you're new here, hit the follow button. There's also a Discord link that Nightbot sends out. Um, and you can join the Discord as well. And there's also a YouTube page where you can keep up with all streams offline. So, I'm going to raid somebody. I haven't raided anybody in a while. Um, well, Zolkarn is about to finish up. So, tell you what. Why don't you all have fun checking out another Red Dead Redemption, uh, another Red Dead Redemption stream. We're going to try out, uh, does this guy talk English? Hold on one second here. Yeah, it seems like he's good. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to do this guy. He's just a random streamer. Um, this is White Sith Male. Oh, I, I spelled his name wrong. So he's a follower, subscriber only chat, but uh, it looks like he's going to have... He just played a few missions that I just did. So you get to watch uh, the fun Mexican... The, the fun trip to Mexico of Jose Gonzalez all over again. So anyway, I will be back Thursday. You all have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hold on, I can't. I seem to be still be streaming here. <laughs>